Welcome to this video. Today we are talking about science and sources of food. Some people eat cereals for breakfast. Some people eat rice or wheat. Some people eat bread made of rice or wheat. Or food made of flour of rice or wheat. Some people eat buns and breads and bakes. We eat products of corn flour. We eat products of maize. We eat products of bajra. We also eat fruits and vegetables eggs, meat, fish and milk products. Where do these food come from? Where do we get these vegetables or grains or cereals? How do we get the food? Have you thought about this? You would have noticed the rice or the wheat are actually seeds of some plants. The bread or the bun is made from the flour. The flour is made by grinding these grains. What are the different varieties of foods or forms of food? Do you eat food as a grain? Do you eat it after grinding it into a powder? Do you eat it as a paste? What do you make out of it? What are the different forms of food? What are the different forms in which you can have these plant products or animal products like meat or fish? Have you thought about how food is cooked? Sometimes you roast it. Sometimes you barbecue it directly in the fire. Sometimes you keep it in the hot, not on the fire. Sometimes you make a shawarma by keeping it continuously on a thermal heat. Sometimes food is washed. Sometimes food, the vegetables are cut. Sometimes they are boiled. Sometimes they are steamed. Sometimes they are roasted. Sometimes they are baked. So the food is cooked in different form. Why do we cook food? Because it is tasty sometimes. Sometimes because it makes it easy to digest. Either you can simply add water to rice and boil it, then you will have rice to eat. Or you cut different vegetables, then cut them in different sizes and shapes, and then add various spices, then flavoring agents, salt and oil, and then coconut milk to taste, tamarind paste, turmeric as an insecticide, and then you make a sambar curry. So you can cook food in different ways. You can make it simple, you can make it complex. What are the ingredients of food? Different materials that we use to make food are called the ingredients. For example, if you want idli, you need rice as an ingredient, you need urad dal as an ingredient, you need salt and water, then you have to grind it, then you have to steam it. So that is how you make idli. Some ingredients like salt is most frequently used. There is very rarely a food item which is cooked without a salt. And some items like saffron is used very less frequently. It is used only in certain types of foods as a spice flavoring and aroma agent. As we vary the ingredients, we get a variety of tasty food items to eat. The quantity of the rice, the quantity of the dal that you put. If you change the mix, you get different types of rice or dosa or idli or whatever. So the batter changes depends upon the ingredients that we add to make the food. Likewise, when you have different spices, you call it samba. When you make it differently, you call it rasam. It all depends on what ingredients go into it. These ingredients come from different sources, a variety of sources. Most of these are plant products or animal products. We mostly use water to soften or dilute or dissolve or mix while cooking. Without water, it is very difficult to cook. Can you guess where from we get salt, spices, sugar, ghee and honey? Yes, salt. Nowadays, we make it in the factories by mixing chemicals, but in earlier days salt was got from the sea or oceans or other sources of salt water. Spices are different small parts of the plant, for example, pepper is a seed or clove is a flower. These are parts of special parts of special plants which we get from different plants. Sometimes we have bark as a bark of the tree as a spice. Where do we get sugar from? Sugar actually we get by extracting the sugar cane molasses. Sugar cane juice is taken and then fermented into molasses from there we get the sugar or jaggery. What is ghee? Ghee is very refined butter. What is butter? Butter is refined by taking away the cream from the milk. So the milk from the cow or a goat or a camel ultimately can be made into ghee. What is honey? Honey is a nectar collected by the bees. So these are all used as food, but not directly got from plant or animal, but a form of products got from plants and animals. 
Most of the spices are used in dried form. We use chili also dried or raw to add flavor as spice. Food we eat differs depending on the place, season, climate, culture, etc. Depends on the availability because it's an important aspect. Sometimes our local farmer is able to cook, prepare these foods for us in their farm. So if the food is available, not everywhere we get rice, not everywhere we get wheat. Sugarcane is not cultivated in every season or every place or every country. So depending on the culture, place, season, we get different foods. Sources of food. Sources of food ingredients. Different parts of the plant serve as food in different ways. We eat not only fruits and vegetables, but also leaves and flowers and root and stem and even seeds, which means different parts of the plant serve as food. Can you list down which different parts of the plant products are used in making a brinjal curry? For a brinjal curry, we need brinjal as a vegetable. Then we need spices to add flavor. Then we need tamarind as a paste. We need salt. So, different parts of the plant like the fruit of the brinjal or the chili or the tamarind which is again from a different fruit. So, all these things go into making a brinjal curry. So, different parts of different plants are used as food, as ingredients. Edible means what? Edible means that can be eaten by humans and it is that is safe. So, is all parts of all plants edible? No, not all parts of all plants are edible, but most parts of most plants are edible. For example, banana, you use a banana leaf, you use a banana flower, you use a banana as a vegetable and as a fruit, you use the stem of the banana plant and we use a lot of parts of the plant. There are certain parts of certain plants which we should not eat because they are poisons. Likewise, animals provide us food in different ways. Animals mostly use a plant and other animals. So herbivores eat only plants, carnivores eat other animals, omnivores eat animals and plants, scavenger eats the dead parts of the animals and parasites eat or live on living anim animals. These are the different types of animals. Small and large animals and plants together form the food chain. One eats the other. The humans can also consume, say, eggs from the birds or milk from the cow or even flesh of the a goat or a sheep or a lamb, so different parts of the animals, so humans are called omnivores. Looking at sprouts and honey, which are the very healthy forms of food, when seeds try to grow in a suitable environment, that is adequate heat, light, moisture, water, minerals, etc., it is called sprouting, that is, when the fruit and the shoot come out of the seed, it is called sprouting. We also eat some sprouts, cooked or otherwise. These are healthy because sprouts are from the embryo, which gives the new life to from the seed to the plant. Bees collect the nectar from the flowers and store it in the beehive, which we extract as honey. Honey is also a healthy natural food. Food makers. Who are the makers of our food? Farmers are the ones who make our food. Farmers work hard to produce food grains like rice or wheat. Cultivation of fruits and vegetables is called horticulture. Dairy and poultry are rearing cattle and birds. People also farm pigs or fish or bees. Agriculture is growing a specific plant in the field and taking care of it. Many farmers depend on rains for water for irrigation of the field. When monsoon fails or when it floods, they lose their produce and so end up in debt with no money to survive. This is the farmer. Also, because the Food grains are lost in the flood or drought, the society ends up with no food to eat. Sometimes the land is not fertile, or irrigation is not available, or the seed quality is poor, or the pest and insect attack, and so also the yield of the field is poor. So, sometimes farmers remain poor and remain without food. Sometimes food does not come to the market, so others are not able to buy food. So, this is the availability of the food which goes for a top. Many people go without food because they do not have enough money to buy food and at times because there is not enough food. One is availability, one is prosperity. So, this is a video on sources of food. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back for more information.